Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka Vertroving Gamer, and today I wanted to do something I haven't done before, and that is an unboxing. And as you can see, I'm doing this unboxing of Forge Wars from designer Isaac H and published by Cephalair, Cephalofair Games. What's in the name? Okay, so this is a, a game. I backed on Kickstarter and it just arrived last week. Uh, to be honest, I had a little peek inside the box yet to see what's inside and that's what made me uh, want to do this video because actually I was quite impressed by it. So let's see, uh, join me to see what's in this heavy box, it is quite heavy the box, yeah. Alright, so. As you can see, Forge War is a game for one to four players, so maybe, who knows, I might do a video one day of a solo game. It plays from 60 to 180 minutes, so an hour till three hours. That's because you have two versions of this game, the normal version and the epic variant. So, and ages 12 or higher, yeah, I think it's quite a heavy game, as is the box. Okay, let's see what's inside. Let's try and open this. All right, a very good quality box. And we have to begin with the rule book, which is quite long, yeah. It has uh, 20, 31 pages, but it has lots of examples, uh, lots of pictures. So it's a very good, very good rule book. Really impressive. And then we have this amazing big board inside of the box let's see if you can okay let's see if I can show this to you uh, it's difficult with one hand and the camera and all these things so look at this big box so you have this mining area here and here you have the market where you can buy weapons and gain experience and more adventurers and here will be all the quests you can take and uh, that made you earn money and experience and victory points of course all right what's next in the box is for oh, well this whole pile of punch boards with the mining areas here with adventurers who has these tiny holes here in which you can place well these uh, level counters you can see there's a lots of cardboard here so <laughs> okay that's unbelievable yeah you can see it's just and it's this it's just crazy so this is the level of the adventure you can put it here in the middle of the adventure token itself and all these things you can use on these adventures it's it's amazing unbelievable Okay, so a lot of these pieces, and then what's next? Let's see, let's open this first. We have all the meeples here. Look at that, custom meeples here, with the whip. I think it's a whip in all the colors for all the players. But also these little custom equipment, these tools, very cute. Some shiny stuff because you have all kinds of resources in this game, so that's nice. And well, <laughs> this all kind uh, different bags to put all things in it. Very nice if uh, publishers uh, add it add this to the box. I really appreciate that. Although I most of the time I use other things to uh, put my sh uh, pieces in. We have all these big piles of cards as you can see with the adventures in with the quests so this is the rats in the cellar quest so well big pile of that and there we have all thing kind of things for in the market so you can hire an adventurer here which adds, gives you another level one adventurer let's see what's here oh i think this is probably the biggest weapon available it costs ten dollars. Gives you or gold gives you seven points, and well, look at the 
text here. You express concern that this weapon is perhaps too large. You clearly haven't seen the titans you'll be up against. Some quote of Martin's Lakeshore Smithy. So these are weapons you can buy and well these are more things that can happen. I think this is to level up characters, adventurers. And then we have here in this plastic you can see everything is put away nicely. So what do we have here? These are the player boards. Player boards have two sides as you can see. So I guess this is the side for the normal game. We have the merchant on the board. Here you can put all your money, your quest trackers. Here it says a little overview, the order of play. Always interesting to have that close by hand. The setup of the and the end scoring, so you have everything by hand. You can put your active quests right on the right side of the board, and the market and savvy cards on the left side. And this is for the epic game. You can, as you can see, much more information because you are going to use all these special abilities your adventurers can get, and you are going to be able to sell and buy more resources as in the normal game. So this is the box. Uh, I must say I was quite impressed by it when I got it. Uh, well, maybe you would love to see more cards. So, uh, well, I guess you can see what you can get in this game. Pirates, Savvy, Traders, Savvy, Scalpels, Ward of Gods, Infernal Axes, and some market stalls. Some di diamond surplus overseers. And let's see. Well, let's show more. Yes. Come on. Let's do this. These are more quests. So at the rats in the cellar, here's, you can be in pursuit of the vampire. Or you can placate the fires of Mount Horn. You can get close to the nether gate. You have the boy and his demon. Uh, subdue the restless graveyard. Oh, the Archmage's Golem army. Behead the Red Lord. As you can see, this is just a huge pile of quests. This is just unbelievable. So I'm not sure if this game will be on the market if it has the same amount. But this is a Kickstarter copy, but I think it might. Why not? Uh, of course. Let's see if I can open this deck of cards. Uh, it does not want to open. Okay, there we go. Here you have all kinds of other things, like iron surplus, uh, more market cells, more weapons. So this is even more weapons you can get in this game. This is unbelievable. This is going to have so much replayability, so much variation. It's just, well, just crazy. Let's see if this is something special. Yeah, all kind of special cars here. But look, this is just unbelievable. Great, great. I'm really stoked about this. Really excited. Oh, look at those tokens. The board is pretty and, well, I hope I get some time to learn the rules and very soon play this game a few times and maybe in the future I will do a run through of Forge War. Very impressive box, very impressive content. Now let's hope the game is as impressive as all the rest. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I might do more in the future. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later and bye bye.